Helen, Helen. <laughs> that was a terrible Candyman impression. Since the new installment of this franchise is coming very soon, I thought it'd be a good idea to go back to the film that started all, 1992's Candyman. This film follows a young woman named Helen, a college student who is writing a paper about the urban legend of Candyman, a supernatural killer with a giant hook for a hand who preys upon a deprived community in Chicago. Legend has it, if you say his name five times in the mirror, Candyman will make you his latest victim by slaying you with his hook. Now let me tell you a little bit of backstory I have with this movie. I remember watching this movie back in the day on Comcast, a video on the man way back in the day, and I remember seeing the movie Candyman, I'm like, oh, Candyman, that seems like a cool movie. You know, it's about a guy who sells candy or something. No, hell no, it's not. It's far from that. Unless you like razor blades in your Jolly Ranchers, please do not buy candy from this motherfucker right here. So when I was a kid, I ended up watching about 30 minutes of this movie and I don't know how I made it that far. I quickly turned off the TV when a certain bathroom scene when a kid gets his fun parts cut off. Yeah. No thank you, I'm turning that TV all the way the fuck off. No thanks, I want nothing of this movie. <laughs> to say this movie scared me as a kid is an understatement. I don't know how I even made it through the first 30 minutes of this film. This film is disturbing in all of the right ways though. But now as a 23 year old adult, what do I think of the movie Candyman as I've matured and I found an appreciation for horror movies? I absolutely love it. It is such a suspenseful thriller and it's a classic of the 1990s horror genre. I get why it has this cult-like following. It has this gothic aura to it with music that is very similar to something you would hear in a Tim Burton movie. It's not just some simple hack em up slasher either. It touches upon mature themes that have layers of depth, such as racism, classism, and adultery. It has no business tackling such themes, but it does anyway. I feel like it adds a lot more to this film that makes it warrant a rewatch. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this story and that is Candyman played perfectly by Tony Todd. Candyman is this evil ghost of an African American man who was brutally lynched for a forbidden interracial love affair in the 19th century. His hand was sliced off while being smeared with honey and staked out for the killer bees to finish him off. I couldn't imagine a worse way to go. <laughs> you get your hand cut off and then you end up dying by bees. That's awful. While learning about Candyman's backstory, I couldn't help but draw parallels to another horror icon, Freddy Krueger. It's the fear that he implements into the community that keeps him alive. The more victims he consumes, the stronger he grows. And Candyman is such an imposing villain, not necessarily physically, he has this supernatural element about him that makes him really creepy. I mean, his voice alone is terrifying. Hearing him say, Helen. Helen. Jesus Christ, you can hear the voice in the back of your skull. It, 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 it's like he has telepathy or something. It, you can just, the certain sound mixing they do in this movie with his voice is just perfection. Chef's kiss, baby. Also, turn down the volume when you watch this movie because there's certain jump scares in this movie that are extremely loud and I almost pissed my pants on a couple occasions. Everybody my age pees their pants, it's the coolest. This film had me think I need to buy a pack of pens to get me through the rest of the movie. Jesus Christ, turn down the fucking music with these goddamn jump scares, relax. I would be doing this review a huge disservice if I didn't mention how great of a performance Virginia Madsen did playing our main character, Helen. Helen is a total badass in this film. She takes shit from nobody. She stands up to Candyman. She is a great protagonist. She's strong, she's independent. She is a very underrated final girl. I really love her in this movie. She is awesome. Candyman doesn't get talked about enough. This film is a classic that deserves a lot more recognition. I can't believe I waited this long to watch it all the way through. I'm going to give 1992's Candyman a 8.5 out of 10. Candyman is disturbing in the best way possible. Candyman is a horror icon. This movie is a staple for 90s horror. It is amazing. It is incredibly underrated. It gets swept under the rug by a lot of other movies. I think this movie is fantastic. Oh, on a side note, have you seen Candyman's cloak? I mean, he looks like a pimp in this movie. I mean, what did he do? Skin a bear? I think he's fly as fuck. <laughs> anyway, I think Candyman is an awesome film. Check it out if you haven't seen it. You're definitely missing out. I can't believe I went 23 years without seeing this film all the way through. 
awesome movie. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you seen Candyman? What do you think of the film? Are you excited for the sequel coming out later this month? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. And as always, I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace. Number four, step forward and center line. We hear you're looking for Candyman, bitch.